Okay. Looks like they're still connecting. I'll wait till they get fully in. All right, I would like to call the City of Fraser Zoning Board of Appeals meeting of June 3rd, 2021 to order. Uh, please ask that you all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, somebody yeah. got a flag handy? There you go. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America. America. And, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible with, with liberty, liberty and, justice and justice for all. all. Very good. All right. Uh, next item on the agenda is roll call. If you would please take the roll. Yes. Member Burley. Here. Member Trementi. Here. If, if I may, yes. Since we're we're participating remotely, um, all oh, the members thank you, Alyssa. say participating remotely from the county and city and state from where they're uh, attending from. Thank you. Uh, should we start again? Please. Yes. All right, Member Burley. Uh, here from Fraser, Michigan. Member Cimenti. Here from Fraser, Michigan, Macomb County. Member Farina. Here, uh, attending from Macomb County, Fraser, Michigan. Member Logan. Here, Macomb County, Fraser, Michigan. And Member Menendez. Jose Menendez, Macomb County, Fraser, Michigan. And Chair Stymack. Attending from uh, Fraser, Michigan, Macomb County. It is my understanding and belief that Member Hunt will not be with us this evening. There are six members present, uh, which constitutes a quorum for conducting business. So moving on, the next item on the agenda is approval of the agenda. Is there a motion to approve? I'd like to make a motion to approve, but with the amendment, item number 5A, appeal number 20-02 should be appeal number 21-02. Second. We have a motion by Menendez, seconded by Farina to approve the agenda for June 3rd uh, with the amendment of uh, correcting the number on the appeal on item 5A. Is there any discussion on that motion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor say aye. Or excuse me, please, if you would please take a roll call. Uh, yes, Member Burley. Yes. Member Cimenti? Yes. Member Farina? Yes. Member Logan? Yes. Member Menendez? Yes. And Chair Stymack? Yes. Uh, I guess I should have read it uh, prior to the uh, start of the actual agenda, but I will at this time <clears throat> read the notice of virtual meetings which states that the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services on May 6, 2021, uh, or excuse me, issued an order on May 6, 2021, that limits the indoor gatherings at non-residential venues. And the Michigan Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity issued emergency rules regarding remote work by employees when feasible. In addition, the city of Fraser has declared a local state of emergency due, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. To ensure against violating the indoor gathering restrictions, and in the interest of achieving the goal expressed by the MDHHS order and the MDLEO rules to protect the public health, particularly during a local state of emergency, the Fraser Bo Zoning Board of Appeals will meet electronically on June 3rd, 2021, in accordance with the Open Meetings Act, using Zoom for video conferencing and public access. <clears throat> 
This notice is required to ensure that those wishing to observe and or participate in the meeting have the opportunity to do so. The public can participate via the Zoom application, internet access via the Zoom website, and or via telephone using the Zoom telephone number and meeting ID. The public will be able to hear the Zoning Board of Appeals member, <coughs> excuse me, members, and will be permitted to speak for up to five minutes during the public participation portions of the agenda. Please note that the callers or viewers will automatically be muted and must remain muted until called upon to speak by the chair. Written comments will be accepted prior to the date and time, no later than 4.30 on the day of the meeting, by the building department at zoning at micityoffraser.com, which is the method by which the members of the public may contact members of the public body to provide input or ask questions on any business that will come before the public body at the meeting. Public hearing comments will be heard during any public hearing that is conducted during the meeting and other comments will be heard or reviewed during the public participation. In the event of a change in the status of the statewide or local states of emergency, the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting may be changed from a remote meeting to a live in-person meeting to be held at Fraser City Hall, 33,000 Garfield Road, Fraser, Michigan, 48026, on the same date and at the same time. The city will post notice of any change in method of conducting the meeting from a remote meeting to an in-person live meeting and or any change in the meeting place for this meeting to the city's website at www.ci.fraser.mi.us. Interested parties should periodically check for such changes or contact the city clerk's office at telephone number 586-293 3100. Pertinent information relating to the proposed variance request may be reviewed at the Fraser Building Department during regular business hours, which are 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday at the Fraser City Hall building at 33,000 Garfield Road, Fraser, Michigan. Questions regarding the appeals may be directed to the planner care of the building department at 586-293-3100, extension 153. Written comments may be submitted to the Fraser Building Department at 33,000 Garfield Road, Fraser, Michigan, 48026, or by mail to the building, by email to the building department at zoning at micityoffraser.com up to 4.30 p.m. on the meeting date. That's the last time I have to read that. Um, all right. Sorry. And once again, I should have read that at the opening of the meeting after the Pledge of Allegiance, but failed to do so. But uh, I believe we have covered everything appropriately. <laughs> um, next item on the agenda is approval of the agenda. Is there a motion to approve the agenda? We did that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. You're fine. Uh, next item on the agenda is more talking by the chair. Petitioners and members of the audience, the Zoning Board of Appeals as herein created is a body of limited powers. Where there are practical difficulties or unnecessary hardships in the way of carrying out the strict letter of the Fraser Code, the board shall have powers in passing upon appeals to vary or modify any of the provisions of the code relating to the construction, structural changes in equipment, or alteration of buildings or structures so that the spirit of the code shall be observed, public safety secured, and substantial justice done. No variance in the provisions or requirements of the code shall be authorized by the board unless the board finds evidence that all the following facts and conditions exist. First, that there are exceptional or extraordinary circumstances or conditions applying to the property in question or to the intended use of the property that do not apply generally to other properties in the same zoning district. Second, that such a variance is necessary for the preservation and enjoyment of a substantial property right 
similar to that possessed by other properties in the same district and in the same vicinity. The possibility of increased financial return shall not of itself be deemed sufficient to warrant a variance. Third, that the authorizing of such a variance will not be of substantial detriment to adjacent property and will not materially impair the intent and purpose of the Fraser Code or the public interest. And finally, that the condition or situation of the specific piece of property or the intended use of the property for which the variance is sought is not of so general or reoccurrent in nature as to make reasonably practicable the formulation of general regulation for such condition or situation. As noted on the roll call, uh, we are missing one of our members this evening. Uh, it does take an affirmative vote of a majority of the board, so a minimum of four votes um, to uh, be able to obtain a variance. Uh, if a petitioner does wish to have their item postponed, um, to give them the opportunity of full board, uh, please do so um, at the time uh, when asked, uh, and we will consider such a request. With all of that said and done, next item on the agenda is item 5A, Old Business, Appeal 21-02, Variance Request of Best Tires, Wall Sign, um, by a Variance Request of Section 32-85-2E of the Fraser Zoning Ordinance as it applies to wall signs in the Industrial Controlled Zoning District. And the request is to obtain a variance from the zoning ordinance standard to exceed the building wall sign allowable by approximately 28 square feet, uh, 60 square foot requested where 32 square feet are allowed. Uh, by show of hands, is there a representative of this item uh, here this evening? And I'm just seeing a small group. Uh, Mr. Ray, are you? Are you here representing this item? Yes, this is Mark from I Signs. Okay, you are the petitioner in this request? Yes. All right, thank you very much. If you wouldn't mind muting yourself for a second and we'll come back to you at the appropriate time. Um, Mr. Reveal, if you'd give us the background information regarding this request. Chair yes. Stymac, if I will, if I may. I, I sorry, I can't see who was speaking. That was that. It, Alyssa? It's, it's Alyssa Albright. Okay, I'm sorry. If you if you're going to do the presentation on this, or you had some other item, um, I I'm not going to do the presentation. But before Mr. Er, Mr. Erbiel, um begins his presentation, I have something to add, considering that this case has been postponed from the previous meeting. All right, go ahead. Um, Considering that a motion to deny uh, was made and seconded at the last meeting, that should be dealt with first and foremost before Mr. Erbiel even gives an update or any more information. Um, I, I would recommend uh, that if the board wanted to consider any new information or any updates from Mr. Erbiel regarding this, that that motion and second and be withdrawn. Um, and then that way, uh, Mr. Erbiel can present any new information, the board can discuss that information, and then also the public hearing could be, could be opened up at that time. All right, looking back at the minutes to see who was the maker and second of the motion. So the motion Logan. was made by Logan, seconded by Burley. Do either of those gentlemen wish to speak at this time? Well, I, yeah, I'll, I'll withdraw my support um, to be able to hear what he, the new information he has. We have, we have a withdrawal of support. Is there anyone else that wishes to support the motion of Mr. Logan? Recognizing no one wishes to support that motion therefore dies for lack of support. Does that suffice, Ms. Albert? Uh, I believe that would suffice, Chair right. Simon. Thank you very much. All right, Mr. Reveal, if you'd give us any update on this request. Uh, yes, thank you. The, um, as you know, at your last meeting, the board, board voted to postpone this request by new generation signs for variants at 33733 Grosbeck Highway. 
um, and that the reason for that postponement was to allow the applicant to confer with their client best tires on a total signage package proposed for the building. Um, uh, as you recall, the variance request was for the best tire sign, the main sign on the building, but there are two other signs, at least two other signs, plus signs in the window that have been installed. Um, the applicant confirmed to the administration via email on May 19th that the intent of the variance request uh, is to um, is as as originally requested, which is to exceed the allowable area by approximately 28 feet, 60 square feet requested, and 32 square feet allowed, um, which means that the request is for the best tires sign only. Um, the applicant provided some more narrative in an application documenting their case, um, as well as photos of the site, which I believe that they would like to use to, um, to make their case to you. Those were enclosed with your packet. Um, there was also a question uh, last time about the dimensions of the finished master sign and the building on the, um, the adjacent building. And so we provided those in your packets. Um, otherwise, the facts remain the same. Other questions for the administration regarding this request? Uh, Mr. Reveal, so the, the finished master sign, uh, although it, it is on the, the same building adjacent tenant space, that, that really has no impact on the allowable signage on uh, best tires. Is that accurate? I believe that's accurate, yes. Okay. Any other questions for the administration? Hearing none, um, does the petitioner have anything they wish to add or update us on the, uh, on the information provided for this evening's meeting? Mr. Mr. Reyes, if you have two devices that are operating there, if you could okay. mute one of them, okay. that'll get rid of the, the feedback. Can you hear us? Hang on, Mark. Let me just. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just going to unmute it real quick so I can fix it. Very good. Uh, do we have audio from them? I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean for them to mute altogether. It just sounded typically. I just have to uh, mute the PC because we have it connected to our phone. Just give me one second for me to figure it out. You're, the way you are right now is fine, or it was. <laughs> it's, it's echoing. Just give me one minute if that's okay. All right, I'll wait. It's going to be it. We're, we're going to have to use my phone. Oh, same thing. That's fine. Mr. Ray's, there's a device signed in named Mark. If who is Mark? Well, I believe Mark is sitting with Mr. Ray's. Um, Let's see if this works. So I don't know. Okay, now, now it should better. work. Mark. I'm just gonna have to use my phone for now. Can you hear us? Can hear you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. So the the question was: Is there any information that you wish to provide to us to update us uh, from the either in addition to the information that was provided to the office prior to this meeting or since our last meeting in May? Well, Fadi, who we worked with from Fast Signs, spoke with the client, and they're aware of the uh, additional signs on the uh, building, and they have, they have agreed to remove those signs, with the exception of the sign that we're variancing, the main 60 square foot sign. Mm -hmm. They're going to remove all the other signs, the window signs, I believe, and the sign over the entry, that garage door, and they, they put an additional sign between the windows. We had nothing to do with those signs that were put up. 
So those the clients agreed to remove them. All right. All so it's it's my understanding from what you're telling me that those other signs, such as the best tires with the phone number in between the windows, as well as the signage over the overhead door, will be removed. Uh, prior to the installation of the best tire sign that is up for consideration this evening. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Okay. And I, I found out that those signs were brought from uh, the, her old uh, location on 14 in Van Dyke. She just recently moved to this uh, bigger location. That's where she got those uh, signs I, I asked her. So okay. we did not install them. Yeah. <clears throat> Are there any other questions for the petitioners by the members of the board? And your hardship is what, sir? The hardship, buddy? Well, one of the situations when we applied for this permit, we were under the impression that it was approved. There was a little bit of confusion with the new um, inspector at the city. We were given permit fees and said the plan review was approved. We were under the impression that the 60 square foot sign was approved. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the inspector, the new inspector was confused on, on kind of a, approving it himself. And well, so that's why- Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I believe a lady by the name of uh, Jennifer, Jennifer that Mark was uh, working with, she, uh, she gave him a uh, verbal approval and she also sent him an email with the fees for the sign and electrical uh, fees and uh she uh, we were asked to go on bsa we were asked to go on uh on the bsa on the website it was uh, uh during uh, uh covid i believe the, it was almost in april or may of last year and uh, we had a hard time uh, uh submitting a payment so we we ended up sending a check and the check was mailed to the city of Fraser. And uh, after you know the city found out that the sign was uh, you know not approved and it was too big, uh, the check was mailed uh, back to us, and it was uh, never cashed. So we were under the assumption that the sign was uh, was approved, and that's where all the uh, confusion all started. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? We know yes, who no, we, we, we can. I guess I guess in, in response to Mr. Farina's question, that's information regarding potentially why the sign may be installed on the building without first obtaining a permit. But I believe as a question is, is why do you need 60 square feet of sign versus the 28 square, or excuse me, the 32 square foot permitted? They're asking, why do we do the 60 square foot sign when the 32? We, we thought because we thought we, a 60 square foot sign would be allowed at the site. You you now know that that's not the case. So well, not so, not that we know. I uh, I went uh, to the site. I took some uh, photos, and uh, I believe Mark submitted all the pictures. And from what you can uh, see, is uh, the building is pushed. It's it's pushed back, and uh, you know on on uh, grows back. I believe it's. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say maybe it's 50 miles per hour, and uh, there's uh, you know quite a few trees also that are uh, possibly blocking the view. Uh, I think if you scroll down, you'll see there's well that one right across uh, the middle one is right uh, covering the storefront, and if it's okay with you, if you can scroll down, uh, you'll see from the side also angle it covers um, also the store. And the visibility is not is not that great, so we, you know, we believe I think sign, you know, if we can get it this to keep the sign at that size, will be very uh, helpful uh, for the business owner, especially they moved from uh, 14 in Van Dyke to this location, so that they can, uh, uh, you know, have more space and hopefully increase the business also. Yeah. And I don't think they want to trim those trees down to make it you know, better visibility for the building and the signs. I think they want to leave the trees as is. Mr. Frieda, did that answer your question? Uh, yes, I, I understand what they're doing. Okay. 
Is there any other uh, discussion from the board? Now, I guess officially we opened and closed the public hearing um, at the last meeting. Um, I, I don't see anyone else on the call that isn't either a board member or staff or, or part of the representatives. Um, Mr. Abiel, have we received any additional written comments regarding this item since the last meeting? We have not. Okay. Well, Mark, you sh shouldn't ask, ask Alyssa, but I think uh, you should ask for any public to be heard anyway and close it if there's nobody there. Well, we would have to open the public hearing to do that, and we closed it at the last meeting. Um, Ms. Albright, is that... Uh... The public hearing was against the motion that died so it's not against anything at this point is it well the public, it, it was against this request i believe miss albright should answer this but. yeah miss albright uh, you... mr stomach i i would just err on the side of caution and open and close the public hearing considering that new information was presented today okay. um, but that that would be my answer all right, uh, if there's no objection, I will open the public hearing regarding appeal number 21-02. Uh, Is there anyone in the public that wishes to be heard regarding this item? Once again, this is appeal number 20-21-02. Um, Is there anyone in the public that wishes to be heard? Chair Stomach, I do not see anyone in the public thank on you. the meeting or in the waiting room. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, recognizing no one wishes to be heard at this time, I'll close the public hearing, bring it back up to the board. Yeah, I got a question for the petitioner. Go ahead, Mr. Burley. Um, you know, you're, you're, I guess when you said the hardship is the trees um, and you're showing me all these pictures of these trees, and it wouldn't matter because you can't see the sign through the trees anyway. So even if you approved a bigger sign, you still can't see the sign. So I don't think that that's, you know, getting a bigger sign is helping your view with the trees in the way. There's certain angles though where you do see the sign and the building. I mean, there are certain angles when you drive, you, you do see it, yes. And I, I also noticed too on your uh, the stanchion sign in front of the building where there's like spaces, you don't even have a sign where you're allowed to sign on the front. I mean, that she's she's not on the she's on the no, she, she's not on the monument sign. I, I believe because they were all taken, if I'm not mistaken. No, there's just three of her. Empty spot there. I. She, she never mentioned anything honestly mm -hmm. about it, so I have no idea. But I, she just, the only thing we, uh, she never mentioned anything. The only thing we uh, originally requested was was a sign, and we we didn't mean to, uh, you know, make the sign this big. Honestly, we, um, you know, we went ten percent of uh, you know the storefront, uh, thinking you know the ten percent would be. Uh, allowed uh, for the most city uh, is. So when we submitted the permit, uh, honestly, that's what it was, uh, you know, approved. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to use that as an excuse. I'm just being honest. I, uh, you know, we got an approval and we did it. If, if, if we knew that was not allowed, I promise you, I, I would not be asking for a, a bigger sign. So there was a little bit of, uh, you know, it was, it was a mistake on, you know, I don't know, I should say our end and also, you know, miscommunication, but my goal was not to do something or break the rule and, or get anything that's not, you know, not allowed. But it was during uh, COVID at the time, and you can see the uh, application um, that was submitted. It was during, uh, Mark, Mark, would you be able to check the date? I, I can give you the exact date, 51. On the first one that we sent, I'm assuming you should have a date. Um, we found, no, we found it here, 11-9, last year, 11-9-20. So, 
sorry about that. I'm just looking through papers real quick. It was uh, 10, 05. It was uh, October, October 5th of uh, 2020. That's when it was submitted. All right, are there other questions for the petitioner? Well, just uh, on my part, uh, Alyssa, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but nowhere in the state statute are we allowed to consider COVID a, 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 a hardship for a, 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 a variance. Uh, we are allowed to consider setback to the road, size of the parcel, speed limit, uh, and um, that type of thing, but we're not allowed to take COVID in as a as a reason for a hardship. We understand that COVID. It was just it just made things more difficult. We understand that, of course. Okay. And I, and I guess to Mr. Burley's question, uh, the. The sign that is depicted in the photographs is the 60 square foot sign. It, it is not that they're looking to replace that sign with a larger one. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, we're not, we're not following you on that? Uh, Mr. Burley was commenting that you couldn't see the sign in the picture, so why would you want a larger one? And I guess my point that I was trying to make is that the sign in the pictures that you were referring to is in fact the 60 square foot sign. Yes. So it's not yes. that you're looking to replace that one with a large no, no, this, that this is, is the, uh, that is the proposed sign. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, if there's no other uh, questions for the petitioner, and I've already closed public hearing, it's at this point back up to the board. We're looking for a motion. Is there a motion to be made? Oh, I'll make a motion. Um, I guess I, I will. Move to approve Appeal 21-02 Variance Request uh, for Best Tires Wall Sign to allow a 60 square foot sign where 32 square feet is allowed. Uh, the reasons, the hardship is because of the speeds that are uh, allotted now on uh, gross spec and the uh, setback from the road and the positioning of the building to the road. Um, And uh, I think uh, one of the conditions is that all other signage on the building must be removed. Yes, 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 yes. And I'll second. Um, Mr. Burley, were you the second on that? Yes, I'm sorry. Burley, right. second. All right. So we have a motion by uh, Farina, supported by Burley, to approve appeal number 21 02. Is there any further discussion on the motion? Uh, the chair would like to, I guess, add one, I guess, bit of information or maybe clarify uh, with regard to the position of the building on the site uh, would also note that this building is set back considerably farther back on the site than the building immediately to the south, which uh, tends to hide the building from the um, traveling public, especially if you are heading northbound on uh, Grossbeck. Uh, because of that arrangement. I, I also I want uh, I also want to clarify uh, on the motion, Mr. Farina, you said that all other signage be removed from the building. Um, and I guess I just want to be clear the best that, side that for this tenant space, uh, sure. that we're not asking that the finish master sign or any other signage on other tenants on this building have to be removed as part of that motion. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. So 
All right. Any other discussion on the motion? Uh, so is that okay if he, we add that to the motion, Mr. Burley? Yes. It's fine with me. Melissa, is that okay? That works for me, Mr. Perino. All right. There's no other further discussion. Uh, Ms. Albright, if you do the roll call on this. I will do the roll call. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. No Ms. problem. Perino? No problem. Uh, Member Burley. Yes. Member Cimenti. Yes. Member Farina. Yes. Member Logan. Yes. Member Menendez. Yes. And Chair Stymack. Yes. Motion, Motion has been approved. Uh, your request has been um, approved. Uh, now make your payment and pick up your permits. <laughs> you get oh, the, thank you. There. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Horse on the right side of the cart. And get rid of those other signs. Yes, yeah. we'll do that. Yeah. All right. Um, next item on the agenda is new public hearings. I'm not yep. aware of any uh, new public hearings that are up uh, for this evening. Uh, the next item on the agenda is new business, uh, item 7A, discussion regarding transition back to in-person meetings. Um, Mr. Beal, is this your item to discuss? It is. Um, and I, I think it's just a request. Um, this is actually doc, uh, Mr. Denault's suggestion. I see that he's um, on the meeting but muted. But um, as Mr. Denault has been monitoring uh, the, the Department of Health and Human Services orders and uh, the state guidance on public meetings and on indoor gathering. And as you all know, uh, things are shifting pretty rapidly. They are, um, uh, the state is, is moving towards rescinding indoor mask mandates uh, the 1st of July. Uh, the city council is not yet, to my understanding, modified their stance um, about remote meetings and there still is a state of emergency that exists in the city of Fraser. So my understanding is that in if that as long as that state of emergency exists, the board can continue to meet virtually until the end of the year. Um, I, I put this on the agenda just as a I would like to request that the board email me individually and you can discuss it now if you'd like. Um, but just sort of email me individually about your temperature about returning. And uh, we are doing it that way just in case anyone um, has reservations and would not like to put them on the record or talk um, out in the open. Um, but if there are certain situations where people have relatives that are immunocompromised or whatever, um, there are things like that. Um, I, I'm just trying to understand your appetite to return or your reservations about doing so. And I will definitely keep you posted as, um, as the city council acts and as the, the landscape of restrictions on gathering indoors changes. Thank you, Mr. Beal. Uh, and, and I just wanna clarify, when you said you wanted to take the temperature of the board, you're, you're not talking about the, the, the uh, skin temperature in as a medical that's skin. correct that's correct I, figurative temperature about uh, the board's okay. appetite for returning in person the commission uh he, he all talked about this last night at the planning commission also and it was brought up that we should kind of wait and uh prepare ourselves like paul said but not get in front of city council and uh, they are the governing body and we should probably follow somewhat their lead you know. uh, it, yeah, certainly since since we're also talking about a state of emergency that's been declared within the city, um, that is going to take precedent upon our wishes and desire. And even with the, uh, the governor's order or the health department's orders, um, potentially relaxing in-person meetings, um, uh, we still are... are potentially meeting within the building, which is uh, uh, governed by the, um, uh, the city of Frazier. And so we have to abide by those rules as well. So uh, Mr. Bill, do you have potentially a timeline? Um, as you mentioned, it is anticipated that the restrictions on indoor mask wearing and, and meeting 
number restrictions are going to be modified probably as of July 1st. Do you anticipate, and this may be a dangerous question, but do you anticipate the Fraser City Council and or the mayor, I'm not sure officially who has the authority to declare or remove the state of emergency. Um, do you anticipate them acting prior to July 1st or at their first meeting after July 1st? What, what's the, your best um, guess? I do not anticipate them acting before then. And I, I guess I would ask my colleagues from the city's attorney's office if they have more information to help me out. But um, the, the, the council has a virtual meeting. I think I believe two virtual meetings scheduled in June and has no plans to, um, to change those meetings from virtual meetings. Um, and, and as everyone has said, nothing is imminent because the state of emergency is still in place. Um, I guess the, the request is just to sort of understand um, when the board is ready to act and understand if, if there are members of the board that um, would prefer for one reason or another to, to stay virtual for a longer period. Let me just ask, is there the potential if there is a member of the board that is hesitant about meeting in person, can they participate individually, virtually? Um, I, I believe not. Um, in the latest, I, I believe there's a there was a stipulation for that in one of the orders that was that was given, um, but I believe that that stipulation has been removed. Okay, okay. I just wanted to throw that out there. I didn't know if that was a possibility. Question, sir. Does Alyssa or Dylan know? Or Don? Um, I believe our office has looked into this uh, previously. Um, I think that we are of the opinion that it could happen. However, technology kind of makes that a little bit dicey. I'm not sure that City Hall would have the capability to have someone be remote and then also everyone else in person. Um, I don't think that the law would technically prohibit it. I just think that logistically, I'm not quite sure if we're there for the city. Okay. I, I once again, I just uh, wanted to potentially throw that out as a possibility. Um, uh, since it may involve uh, medical issues that people may not want to share in a public meeting, and I certainly understand that, and people may not want to share their medical background or information at all. Um, but Mr. Abiel, you, you had asked us to uh, try and have a, a bit of uh, contact with you with uh, individual desires. Did you have a date that you wanted that done by? Um, I did not have a date, but I would say if within the next two weeks would be sufficient. All right, so just for members purposes, why don't we say by the 17th of June, if, if you could please uh, uh, provide Mr. Rubile with uh, any information or comments that you have regarding any hesitancy to, uh, to meet in a uh, in-person nature, we would appreciate that. Um, and a- Mark? Yes, sir. I see two hands up on the screens. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm not seeing any hands up. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was looking. I was looking for a real. I was just scratching my head. Dude, head. Sorry about that. I was scratching my head. Go ahead. Just a quick question on the um, in the chambers. A lot of places you've seen the plexiglass uh, dividers, and I, and I think the city's added them uh, within city hall. Is that currently in place in the chambers or is it still open as usual? Uh, the chambers exist, I think, as usual as they did before the pandemic. Okay. Was, there Logan? Some, was there someone else that had a question? Logan. Um, Your hand's up, Bob. I hand that up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where? It's on the screen. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe, Mr. Steinbeck, if, if I may maybe add a suggestion for the timeline of getting back to Paul, um, maybe by June 10th, which is the next council meeting, then that way they can kind of give the temperature of this board. Um, just, just a suggestion. 
Okay. If, if once again, I, I started off asking if there was a timeline, if uh, June 10th is a more appropriate, uh, useful timeline to have that bit of information, uh, then I would uh, ask. There's no penalty for that uh, for that <laughs> reply. Um, but if you would please uh, let Mr. Reveal know at your earliest convenience, hopefully before June 10th. I'll leave it at that. Is there any other discussion regarding that item? Seeing none, uh, now moving on to uh, item eight, unfinished business of the board. I'm not aware of any unfinished business that is uh, needs to be addressed by the board. Um, next item is planning commission liaison member report. Mr. Farina, do you have uh, some yes, fresh information? Fresh information, yes, from last night. We had a meeting last night and uh, the Development in, uh, oh, it's um, on 34, 4,000 Utica Road, which is hockey land. The development in the parking lot of hockey land. Uh, they came in for a, um, a land use um, variance and um, were granted that variance. The, uh, they have modified their, um, their layout. It was going to be two buildings uh, two, two retail outlets, a, a, a restaurant, and a, I believe it was a, um, a frosty place or something like that, a, a shake place. Um, and now it's just going to be a restaurant. And uh, with uh, they needed the use variance because it, they wanted a, uh, it, it, it's, they, they said it is a drive-through, but it's a phone in and a pickup window from your car in case they, you know, to make it more convenient for people. And on the other end of the building, there is an exterior dining area also on this building. All of the, um, we made sure that all of the uh, restrictions that were put on them before uh, the redoing of the North parking lot, the, the fixing of all the fire things, the redoing of the uh, resurfacing of all the entire parking lot uh, and brought up to the, um, to the city engineer who was on the uh, call at that point that uh, there have been uh, water problems with that parking lot and that needs to be addressed in their, their analysis of what's going on. Um, this would actually reduce the amount of traffic flow coming out of that area. Uh, for the super events, all of the uh, things, hoops that they had to jump through in order to get approvals are still in place and uh, the city has to approve it. They have to hire city for uh, traffic enforcement and um, they have to go along with, the city must approve uh, their plan prior to them doing it. Um, so all that said, I, I think it's an, an improvement on what was going to be there because it's, it, it actually adds parking back into that area, uh, which, which cuts down on the, um, amount of traffic and um, to the uh, out, out areas. Um, and uh, I, again, the parking agreements have to be registered. And um, we, we also added a, another thing that the, the parking agreements had to be registered with the, uh, the Register of Deeds and they must pay the attorney fees for the legal work that must go along with our attorney fees for the legal work that must go along with that. That was, uh, I think that came from Don and his staff and um, I think it's a good, good thing. So uh, that, that is the intent of uh, what we did. And um, the other thing that I brought up um, uh, on um, the site plan for um, Taco Bell, uh, if any of you are familiar with that, you, you pull into the Myers area and the Taco Bell headlights hit you and headlights the other way hit you. And a requirement on the, um, the site plan was that they put up a brakes to uh, stop the glare of headlights into oncoming traffic. Uh, I noted uh, that that was not done. Mr. Erbel said, uh, looked into it and found that yes, that is a requirement. 
and he's gone back to them and they're working that. Um, my, my question then was, why does this, this is the second occasion I've been involved with where this has happened. How is um, the planners and the building department going to work together to, so that this doesn't happen again? Uh, it, we shouldn't be relying on volunteer help to, to police what happens with the buildings and um, occupancy, giving them a permanent occupancy and temporary occupancy. Uh, so that was the extent of our meeting. Um, well, did I leave anything out? Um, I think you covered it. Okay. For now. All right. So are there any questions on that? Well, I guess I, I just want to clarify. You, you, you said you granted a variance regarding the Hockeyland site. And my presumption is that what you really meant to say was you granted a special use approval. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the, thank unless, you. Unless, unless the Planning Commission has gained some new powers since, since I've uh, been serving on there. No. Uh, I, no. I don't think they have the authority for variances. And, no. and I guess, and you may have mentioned it, but the changes to the site plan um, either were because they also appeared before this body for a parking variance. Um, so I presume the changes in the site plan either comported with that previously approved parking variance or reduced potentially the uh, the amount of the parking variance that was. Yes, it actually adds parking back into the area. Okay, so I, I presume by that it reduced the, the numerical parking variance that was required. Correct. All right. Thank you. Are there other, any other questions for the uh, Planning Commission liaison member? I see no hands and hear no voices. Um, next item on the agenda is uh, public participation. Uh, at this time, I recognize uh, no other members of the public at the meeting. Um, but is there anyone that wishes to uh, speak on an item uh, on the agenda or off the agenda this evening? Uh, I'd just like to, you know, I've been working, kind of, kind of giving Paul a couple of items and he gets back right, right away and he's very responsive and I appreciate that. Um, I think, you know, we do need to get a little tighter in the building department over there and what... How, how, how are they checking what's going on? But I'm sure we'll, we'll get there. Um, additionally, there is um, on the third Sunday of August, uh, St. Malachy's Church is gonna have a one day festival. And um, that, um, that's long overdue, so. Yeah. I, pre I appreciate that, but I think you're jumping ahead of night, but, but. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't you ask me if I had any other comments? We had any other comments? I said the public. I, I you, you technically are a member of the public, but you're also a board member, which- oh, would, I'm sorry. That's all right. I withdraw my comments. <laughs> no, well, you can say, well, you get a chance to say it again. How about that? <laughs> anyway, uh, the next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes from the May 6th, 2021 meeting. Um, for some reason, it seems like this normally occurs much earlier in the agenda than item 11. But is there a motion on the minutes? I can make a motion to approve the minutes as submitted. Second. Yeah, motion by Menendez, supported by Farina, to approve the minutes of the May 6, 2021 meeting uh, as presented. Uh, is there any comments on the minutes? Um, I yes. actually have one um, item six in the minutes. Uh, it officially says appeal 21-021. Uh, I think that should be 21-01. Uh, um, and would make a, I guess a motion to amend the minutes, uh, correcting that number. The typo. You want me to correct that motion? You can do that or support my motion to correct. How about that? I'll support your motion to correct. 
Okay, we have a motion to amend the minutes uh, by correcting the number on item six in the minutes. Is there any discussion on that motion? Here's that, Mike. I did have one correction that I saw as well um, in item 6B. Um, it refers to 32-85-2.D. I believe that that should re be referring to 32-85-2.E. So you're talking about in the second paragraph from the bottom? Um, it'd be in the first paragraph and second paragraph, yep. Oh, so in both locations, it should be an E as in Edward instead of a D as in David. Correct. Yes, that deals with the industrial district. Um, the other citation deals with the commercial district. Okay. And I would, um, if there's no objection from the second error, I would uh, add that correction to my motion to approve as mended. Mean as Great. Men Men Menendez. No objection. All right. So uh, once again, on the motion to amend, uh, making those three corrections noted. Uh, is there any discussion on that motion? Hearing none on the motion to amend, all those in favor, or excuse me, roll call vote, please. Member Burley. Burley. Member Cimenti. Yes. Member Farina? Yes. Member Logan? Yes. Member Menendez? Yes. And member Stein, or excuse me, Chair Steimek? So, member. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Now on the uh, main motion to approve <coughs> as amended. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, um, on the motion, roll call, please. Member Burley? Yes. Member Cimenti? Yes. Member Farina? Yes. Member Logan? Yes. Member Menendez? Yes. Chair Stymek? Yes. All right. Now I have so now on the agenda, we have a uh, item 12, which is members' comments and items of interest. Mr. Farina, did you want to, uh, to no. recover anything that you did already? No, sir. I, I'm sorry. I was. I actually had pulled up the planning commission. I was reading members' comments. You know, I didn't see the. That's right. So no, I'm all set. Thank you. All right. Is there anyone else that has any items that they wish to uh, discuss at this evening's meeting? Uh, Mr. Logan, I see a hand. Yes. Um, I just want to. <clears throat> uh, some sad news. Uh, Kelly Dolan's dad, uh, Hank, uh, passed away uh, last Wednesday night. Um, just want to—I don't know if you guys knew that or not—but just want to pass that along. And this, he's going to be a viewing on Saturday, correct? Correct. Saturday at Walsh funeral. Mr. Logan, if you do have uh, either uh, specific uh, details on the services, and/or if you could forward out a link to the other members, I would greatly appreciate I, that. I sure will do that tomorrow morning. All right. Thank, thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Any yeah. other? I had a quick question. Do we have do we have any movement on the sign uh, sign laws that went, dated back and was kind of paused and was going to be reviewed? Do we have any movement on that? Um, we we are still working on. Uh, I guess from the planner's point of view, we are prepared to do that and and are communicating the urgency. Um, I think with the transition in city managers, we will resume the conversation when that transition has taken place. Um, uh, I've had conversation with uh, Mr. Thompson about this, and um, it's sort of in the in our recommendations of things that should be accomplished in the coming year. Um, but no, no actual progress yet. Thank you, Paul. All right. Any other items? Hearing no other, move on to uh, item 13, adjournment. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. I second. A motion by Menendez, uh, second by Chimeni to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Oh, wait, do we need to? Let's do a roll call. Let's be consistent. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Member Burley. Yes. 
Remember, last, last night, the attorney said yes. we did not need a roll call. That's true. Yes. Member Chmezi. Yes. Member Farina. Yes. Member Logan. Yes. Member Menendez. Yes. Chair Steinbeck. Yes. And I, I apologize for that extra minute of time that uh, it took to do that. All right. Um, meeting is adjourned. I thank you all very much. Um, stay safe. Enjoy um, the summer uh, as much as we need. Do we know if we're going to have a meeting uh, in July? As of this moment, there is no um, nothing on the that would be on the agenda. There's no business currently. Okay. Um, have, we, have we reached the deadline date for the July meeting? Because it, it, did the July meeting move from its original date? I have a calendar with me right now. Um, I don't believe it did. Um, I actually do not have the calendar for me either. But um, the the regular scheduled meeting would be the first, I believe. Yes. Uh, we yeah, have not. We have not reached. First. And so I, I don't believe we moved that in our official calendar for the year. So, um, all right. There's still a few more days um, before the notice deadline, but as okay. of this moment, uh, nothing that I'm aware of. All right. Very good. Uh, with that, everyone have a great evening. Take care. Thank you for your Bye. service. Bye. 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 Have a good week. Talk to you later, Frankie. All right. Bye-bye.